Something very weird had landed in town. A spaceship from the far reaches of the galaxy. Hi. Oh, hi, Tracy. Sorry, a big science fiction convention was in town. And lots of kids were going as their favourite outer space characters. So what do you think, Tracy? Nice outfit, Gordon. But, uh, who are you supposed to be? Who else but Dash Rip, reporting for duty. Oh, yeah, of course. I had no idea what Gordon was talking about. I've got to show my costume to Carl. He'll think it's so cool. Come on! Uh, OK. There's Carl in his costume. Oh, what's he supposed to be? He's a bugoid from the planet Beetletopia. Right. Oh, it looks like Carl's got a bugoid friend. Hey, Carl! <laughs> what was that about? Why did your friend run off like that? I don't know. We better find out what's up. Hello? Carl! It's Gordon! And Tracy! Uh, Gordon, we really shouldn't go in like this. But Carl should be here somewhere. Carl! Carl, where are you? Mm, this is getting seriously weird, Gordon. Are you in here, Carl? So, whose room would this be? Carl told me he had a brother and sister. If this is their room, then they haven't been here for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find Carl's room. He'll tell us what's going on. This has got to be Carl's room. But still no sign of Carl. Carl! Carl? Look at this. Oh, uh, hello. This is Gordon. Over. <laughs> ah! Let's get out of here, Gordon, and fast! Oh, it's you, Tracy. Hold it. What? what are you looking at now? I think this is a computer diary. Don't look at that. It's private. It says... This is a report by Bugoid Agent Kral on his mission to Earth. His what? Hi! <laughs> oh, hi, Carl. We're sorry for just coming in, but we thought you were home. We weren't snooping. That's OK. I was, uh, on the phone to my parents. But, Gordon, I can't let you get away with what you've done without saying something. What, Carl? That's the best dash rip outfit I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Carl. Just give me a second and I'll get out of the rest of my costume. What the? Don't read any more, Gordon. Oh, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to copy it. Everything all right? Ah, uh, you bet, Carl. Perfect. I'm sorry, but we'll have to meet up later. I've just received another communication from my controllers requesting an immediate rendezvous. A what, Carl? Uh, I mean, I've got another phone call from my mum and dad and I have to go and meet them somewhere. OK, we'll see you later then. Here's Carl's report. Delete it, Gordon. This is major snooping. You don't have to snoop with me. I just want to discover the explanation behind all this. So what else does it say? It says that he received the message to make contact with fellow bugoid Schmeck. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Look, let's look at this logically. Carl has a brother and sister. What are they like? Hmm. I've never seen them. You haven't? But you've met Carl's mum and dad. I've never seen them either. Well, we know they exist. You had a phone call from them. Did you hear any phone ring when we were there? Um, no. OK, forget all that. Uh, how did you meet Carl? I met him outside the ice cream shop. So, when he first talked to you, what did he say? He thought I'd be a good specimen. He said, what? I'd be a good friend and... Specimen. Specimen! Don't panic, Gordon. You probably just misheard him. There's only one way to find out. We have to snoop. That's what Dash Rip would do if he faced an alien menace like this. Gordon, you are not Dash Rip and there is no alien menace. And if you're going to do more snooping, I'm coming with you. I need to discover the truth, of course, not because I like snooping. Oh, Gordon, Tracy, what are you doing back so soon? We uh, wanted to see your bugoid costume again. Sure. Come in and I'll show it to you. So, uh, were you able to meet up with your mum and dad, Carl? Meet my mum and dad? Check it out, Gordon. It's just rubber. What did you think it was? That it was real? <laughs> <laughs> Silly. As if. 
Tracy, you're an inventor, aren't you? Yes, I've been known to double a little. I'm having trouble with my deep space communicator. Maybe you can have a look at it. No problem. This might help me get to the bottom of what's been going on here. Is this part of your bug -eyed costume? <laughs> yes, that's what it is, absolutely. Hmm, here's the trouble. This wouldn't really work as a deep space communicator, you know, unless you could feed the signal through a large satellite dish. You mean like this one? Yes, something like that. This wasn't just satellite TV. This was something out of this world. I better answer this. I'll just be a moment. We've got to find out more from Carl's computer diary. This is total snooping. But make it quick, total snooping. There it is. It's been updated. Gordon has discovered too much about me. I must return him as a specimen to the home world immediately. <gasps> specimen? His sister Tracy also knows too much about me. She will also make a fine specimen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've got to go out again. Maybe I'll see you later. <laughs> in an alien zoo. You think that's where I want to go? <gasps> Gordon, Tracy, are you in there? I have to talk to you. Mm. You better talk to him. He won't try and grab us in the middle of the day with people around. Hi. You left before I could tell you about my surprise. Uh, surprise? You've got to meet me tonight at Wildwood Park. But, 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 but what do you want to show us? Like I told you, it's a surprise. But I'll give you one clue. It's out of this world. <laughs> this is all your fault. My fault? What did I do? You repaired Carl's communicator so he could tell the spaceship to come and pick us up. OK, stop right there. This is crazy. We have to find out the truth, and that means... We are going to that park tonight. And what if the truth is that Carl is really an alien and we're going to be put in an alien zoo? Oh, highly unlikely. But not absolutely impossible. We should protect ourselves. But how? I wish this was a real anti-alien energy shield. <gasps> anti-alien energy shield! Now that's what we need. somewhere that we're not. <laughs> Greetings! <laughs> I'm pleased that you come. Now it's time to reveal everything. <laughs> it's the spaceship! Quick, power up the anti-alien energy shield! <laughs> <laughs> Shield needs a little more work. Great guess. The ship spotted us. Huh? What do you think of my flying saucer model? I made it to show at the science fiction convention. So you're not really an alien? What are you talking about? We're talking about the diary of your Earth mission. I'm not writing a diary. Unless you mean the story I'm writing for a competition. Well, what about your mum and dad and your brother and sister? Where are they? They're away at my grandmother's place. I'm staying most of the time with an uncle. I told you that, Gordon. Oh, yeah. That's right. You did too. What the...? Now you remember. Good one, Gordon. What's all this about? Did you think I was an alien? Ha <laughs> ha! Right then, we felt pretty silly. But what I mean is that Gordon felt silly because, you know, I knew all along that there was a logical explanation. The next day, we went over to Carl's place to apologise to him for all the snooping. Oh, I hope Carl's home. And I hope you've learnt your lesson about snooping. You snooped too. Uh -huh. I only played along to make sure you learnt your lesson. Sure, Tracy. Look, it's a note for me. Carl says, I'm oh, sorry for leaving without saying goodbye, but he couldn't stay after we found out the secret of his true identity as a bug-eyed alien. I knew it! He was an alien all along! I knew that! <laughs> I'm joking! And, and I knew it was a joke.
joke. I was just playing along with it, okay? I knew that. So you did, Tracy. Nice try. Look, never for one moment did I ever think Carl was a bug alien. I don't let 